Hey everyone, uh, I'm the Visual Arts Manager at ArtsQuest. My name is Elena and welcome to my dining room for yet another virtual workshop in the Stay Creative series, all part of ArtsQuest at Home. Um, today I'm going to talk to you guys about one thing you can do with some of these toilet paper rolls that um, I'm sure at this point everybody has toilet paper. I bet some of you are still sitting on a throne of hoarded toilet paper. Uh, so hopefully we all have these at home. The other thing I'm going to use is masking tape and maybe scissors, I haven't decided yet. Uh, and we're going to do sculptures. Um, so I will say too that this is not even remotely the only art project you can do with toilet paper rolls. We actually have a whole board dedicated to them on our Pinterest, so you can head to the link in um, our bio or just look for us on Pinterest at Banana Factory underscore PA for a million other ideas if this one does not appeal to you. But I'm going to try to make toilet paper roll sculpture uh, by taping these things together. And so if I were to just like go like this, you might, you could probably kind of tell, yeah, it's still a toilet paper roll. Uh, so I'm going to kind of change up some of my toilet, toilet papers. I'm thinking, I'm feeling like a dog. I wish I had a pet, but alas, not allowed in my apartment. So I'm going to use one roll for the body and that's way too big for the legs. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut this toilet paper roll down and maybe I'll try to turn it into four individual legs. So I'm going to cut it more or less in half. So I'll be able to kind of spin it this way. And then I'm going to cut it in half again. So we got some nice short legs. And now I am going to actually tape the legs kind of together. We have the body looking pretty good, kind of just like a cardboard just tube with mini cardboard tubes attached to it. Now, of course, we want to do the head. I don't think my dog needs a whole tube-shaped head, um, so I'm going to try to cut this tube in half. And what I'm going to do this time, because I think I might want to use like the whole tube-shaped bit for the head, I'm going to just cut halfway and then cut all the way around here. Let's see. Okay, so it's still a tube fully intact, and it's just trimmed down a bit. And what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to test some things out here. I haven't, I haven't workshopped this ahead of time today. Uh, and I'm going to try to kind of squeeze it into a head shape. That's like, it doesn't look like a head right now, I know. But it's the start of a head. And I'm going to paint all this at the end. So it's going to look beautiful. I feel fully confident. And I'm just going to tape that sucker closed like this. And that's going to be kind of the start of the nose. I'll make some cardboard ears. Uh, both of my pets have, or both my dogs have kind of pointy ears that sometimes stick up mostly when they're like excited, which is basically all the time I'm around because I'm their favorite person. Sorry, mom and dad. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so I made a little triangle and I'm folding it in half and I'm just gonna tape it down to their head so it's sticking up. So yeah, I've got my little ear with the little foldy bit on it and I'm going to attach it to the front of the head. And I'll do that a second time. So I got the start of my dog head with some ears. And I think what we really, I, what I really need to make it seem more like a dog head is kind of a more developed like snout. And so I'll do like a little bit of cardboard on the front here. I don't need a whole lot because it's already looking a little bit dog-like, right? Um, oh, this is kind of cute. So I think just like bringing out the nose a little bit more, I just have this little bit of cardboard and I'm just gonna glue it, tape it down like this so it makes the nose look a little bit longer. Cool beans. So I got my dog head like that and now I just have to attach it to the body and I don't know I'm thinking about it and I'm kind of okay with it just being stuck on there like that. You could try to fashion a neck out of cardboard out of tape whatever. So I did a little roll of tape on the bottom just to stick it in place, but now I'm going to add some extra tape to make sure it's really secure. Boom. We have 
a dog. Now, this, I would say, um, while it is, I think, pretty clearly a dog, it doesn't look like my ideal version of a dog sculpture yet. Uh, so what I'm going to do next, I'm going to kind of add some extra tape. This step might be optional, but I want to make sure it's really secure when I go to paint it. So I'm going to kind of cover uh, some areas with paint. Like I don't, I don't want it to have a hole in the butt, so I'm going to like cover up with tape here and here and maybe on the sides a little bit. Um, just to make sure it looks really like well-rounded, like a full shape, like a dog. So here we go. All right, you guys, so this is my dog. He is all finished. Hercules, the wonder dog. Um, definitely uh, had fun making this, even if it came out a little bit silly. Uh, if you're making your own cardboard tube animals at home, definitely feel free to share them with us. Uh, you can tag us on social media. We are at Banana Factory underscore PA, or you can use the hashtag BF Quarantine Art Club for a chance to be featured on our story. Um, and in addition to these virtual workshops, if you are feeling a little bit bored of all of your scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, and if it's uh, nighttime or can't go outside because it's raining, whatever, uh, definitely check out Arts Quest at Home for a lot of other great content. Uh, we have like live stream concerts, uh, films and like discussions, um, improv, digital exhibitions, dance workshops. I like educational resources. I can keep going because we literally add to it every day, um, but I won't. Uh, I'll just leave that. I'll leave it at that. Uh, it's a great, a great resource. Great things to do on there. If you like what we're doing, um, or if you just like Arts Quest as an organization, feel free to donate. I mean, obviously every bit counts right now. Uh, you can donate at artsquest.org/donate, and you can even buy a gift card so that. Uh, you know, when we're all coming out of quarantine, you can uh, buy yourself some concert tickets or a class or merchandise or whatever. Um, but that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, and until next time.